Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully everything's going well with you. Um, you're ready for the weekend. I was off yesterday, so I enjoyed some time with my mama. And um, I woke up this morning thinking about the prodigal son. And so I'm going to read to you from chapter 15 of the book of Luke. Chapter 15 of the book of Luke, it says in verse 11, and he said, and this is Jesus, the rest of this speaking is Jesus. A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. Not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there wasted his substance with riotous living. And there's a lot to be learned from um, this story of the prodigal son. For those who have been there, we could stand back and, and yell at the book. <laughs> Don't go. You've got it made. Never works. It never works. It doesn't work with your own children. It didn't work with me. Um, it doesn't work with other people's uh, children that I've tried to talk with uh, as a pastor. And you'll notice that this father, either he just already knew it wasn't going to work, or he just figured the best way uh, for him to find out is to let him go. But he let him go. Um, there's nothing else he could do. He let him go. And uh, it wasn't much longer after, just a few days after. Uh, it says that he took uh, what his father had given him and he went into a far country. And there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spread, and when he had spent all there arose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. And so now, um, he's in want. Before, he wasn't in want uh, because he had anything he could have wanted, but he was in need. <laughs> he just couldn't see it, uh, but he was. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. So he needed a job. He needed an occupation. He just needed money. Uh, I kind of wonder if this fella uh, ever worked when he was back home. I don't know. Doesn't say his age. Just says that he's younger than the older one. But uh, this journey just keeps taking him down and down and down. And I had somebody say to me one time about their... Um, their adult son who had a relationship with God and then the next thing uh, some things came up in his life and uh, his mother came to me one day and she said I would ask you to go and speak with him and I said well I said I can go and speak with him but I can tell you from experience that right now he's like a pig following an apple and until he um, either gets what he thinks he's chasing, probably all the talking in the world isn't going to bring him around. I said, but I tell you what usually does bring him around. Now, some people call it in today's terms, hitting rock bottom. I said, but you don't have to go to the hog pen. I said, but a lot of times, uh, when you reach the pig pen and you look around and you see what you had, Compared to what you have then, I said, sometimes that changes your mind. The scripture says he would have fain filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to spare? And I perish with hunger. So he came to himself finally and realized he had a memory about him. He realized, and that's the good thing. You see, people can run. This prodigal son went 
and he took his he took his trip um a long trip a far journey into a far land but he never got away from home in his head <laughs> we lived in Myrtle Beach my wife I'd talk to her and she'd say um I don't understand you we live here and said you just uh, always constantly thinking about back in Ohio and back in my mind just I'd be driving a road in in um, South Carolina and be thinking about a road in Ohio it just it, your memory um, is good at times and then there are times there are things probably it won't let you forget but but then he says I will arise and go to my father and will say to him father I have sinned against heaven and before thee and I'm no more worthy to be called thy son make me as a hired servant and so you know the rest of the story what happens <laughs> so you find he gets up enough nerve to come back and as he's coming the scripture says that the father sees him a great way off and begins to run to him and when he gets to him the son starts with what he's probably practiced in his head the whole time. So he starts with this, Father, I have sinned against heaven before thee. And the prodigal son's father falls on him and kisses his neck. And he says to the servants, bring a ring, bring a robe, bring shoes for his feet. For my son who was once dead is alive again. I remember one year I preached for Mother's Day. What about the prodigal son's mother? And we read the scripture here where it says that uh, the father uh, seeing him a great way off. And my illustration was, what if it was an, what was an, a, a two-story house and the mama's upstairs in the prodigal son's bedroom looking at, um, looking at, the bed that he used to sleep in looking out the window and seeing the father taking off running and then thinking what is he doing and then looking out further and seeing her baby boy coming back God is good if, if you've taken a far journey into a far country and wasted everything you had God is good and he's there waiting for you and that's what this song says this morning It's amazing I never saw till today How foolish a son I've been The grass is not greener here nobody But I know where I've got a friend He's still setting my place at the table Still calling my name in prayer He's still I lost everything that I had to find out what I needed. I had all of all. The grass is not greener here, and nobody. Still sitting in my place at 
the table still calling He still looks down the road Cause somehow he knows His prodigal son coming home If you have been a prodigal son Better yet, if you are one now, realize that he's still setting your place at the table. Still room for you. He still loves you. God, we thank you for uh, the forgiveness that you give through Christ. And I pray for those who watch this and listen to this today. Whether it's morning, whether it's afternoon, whether it's evening, whether it's uh, a week from now or years from now, God, that you will reach them Help them to understand how much you love and care for them. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, folks, thank you. Uh, you know, um, tomorrow is Sunday, so we won't be on here for devotion, but you can watch us at Charity Free Will Baptist Church if you choose to. See you again on Monday. God bless.